friends welcome to our channel so today in this video we are going to discuss about the Clausius and Clapeyron equation so this is the continuity continuity of Clapeyron equation which we saw in the previous video. So, according to Clapeyron's equation, we know that dp upon dt is equal to del s upon del v. Take this as equation number 1. So, in this equation, p is pressure, t is temperature, s is entropy and v is volume. But we know that the entropy that is uh, del s is equal to del h v divided by t where h v is heat of molar heat of vaporization so substituting this in equation number one we get dp upon dt is equal to del h v upon t del v take this as equation number two so if the liquid is in equilibrium with vapor phase we can write the above equation as follows dp upon dt is equal to del h v upon t of volume of uh, gas phase minus volume of liquid phase take this as equation number three so here the volume of liquid phase is very much lesser than volume of gas phase so we can neglect it so when volume of liquid phase is neglected The above equation will become dp upon dt is equal to del hv upon tvg. So, take this as equation number 4. We know that for idle gases, PV is equal to RT. Here, V of volume of gas phase. So, we are writing PVG of. Uh, so, now taking the value of V, we get V of G is equal to RT by P. Substituting this in equation 4, we get DP upon dt is equal to del hv into p upon t into rt take this as equation number 5 next while rearranging The above equation that means equation number 5 we get dp upon p is equal to del hv into dt upon r t square. So take this as equation number 6. So now taking integration for the above equation. For the above equation with the limits 1 and 2. 
we get integration of 1 to dp upon p is equals to del hv by t is constant so we are taking it out so del hv upon r is constant integration 1 to dt upon t square so mathematically t power minus 2 is equal to t power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 that is equal to t power minus 1 divided by minus 1 so that is equal to minus 1 by t so substituting this in this equation we get ln of p with limits 1 and 2 is equal to del hv by r or into minus 1 by t with limits 1 and 2. While further integrating this, we get ln of p2 minus ln of p1 is equal to del hv divided by r into 1 by t2 minus 1 by t1. So that is equal to, we know that in uh, logarithm, minus will become division. So, ln p2 divided by p1 is equal to del hv by r into one by t two minus one by t one. So that is equals to land p two upon p one is equals to del h v upon r taking lcm for this so t2 minus t1 divided by t1 into t2 so that is equals to log of p2 divided by p1 is equals to del hv divided by 2.303 r into t2 minus t1 upon t1 into t2. So, this is the final equation. That's all for this video. Thank you, friends.